Hello everyone, I am Dr. Kathy Sun, endocrinologist at the Ottawa Hospital. Welcome to this video about insulin resistance, what it is and what you can do to decrease it. Insulin resistance is a complex topic and here we will try to present it in an easy to understand way. Let's start by defining insulin resistance. In humans, insulin is a peptide hormone produced by the pancreas. Via the bloodstream, insulin circulates throughout the body and is the main hormone controlling blood glucose sugar levels. In this figure, the horizontal axis is a measure of insulin concentration, which increases as we move from left to right. The vertical axis is a measure of body glucose metabolism or disposal, which increases as we move from bottom to top. Insulin sensitivity is defined based on the insulin concentration required to attain half of maximum impact on body glucose metabolism. This is indicated with the dashed red line. This blue curve refers to normal insulin sensitivity. Insulin resistance refers to a decrease in insulin sensitivity, which is depicted with curves that shift towards the right of the normal blue curve. For example, this orange curve is one possible curve for an individual with insulin resistance who has higher insulin concentration in order to achieve the same mid-curve impact on body glucose metabolism. There are many medical conditions associated with insulin resistance. Here are some common conditions. Type 2 diabetes mellitus, high blood glucose, sugar, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, obesity, heart disease, and stroke. Now let's talk about how you can decrease insulin resistance. The non-modifiable risk factors include genetic predisposition, which is not something that we can work on. However, the good news is that there are many modifiable risk factors, and these we can all work on. Here are some strategies to decrease insulin resistance. Number one, diet. Check nutrition content and consider decreasing portion sizes. Choose lower glycemic index foods. Number two, exercise. Physical activity, daily as much as possible. Any movement is better than none. Aerobics, strength training, stretching, whatever you enjoy. Number three, sleep. Aim for eight hours per day, every day. Number four, stress management. Meditation, deep breathing, socializing, counseling, hobbies, whatever works for you. Sleep and stress management both help to avoid elevation of the body's other hormones that can increase insulin resistance. To minimize your risk of developing insulin resistance or to keep your level of insulin resistance as low as you can, it is highly recommended to work on those four strategic areas every day for the long term. This certainly requires perseverance and you can congratulate yourself on your achievements. Even if you are on medications for conditions related to insulin resistance, working on these strategies to decrease insulin resistance will still be beneficial for your health. Here are some useful resources regarding insulin resistance. You'll find the links in the video description below. Thank you for watching.